Well, hello. How you doing? Good to see you again. You look as good as you did last time. I'm proud of you. I got a little something for beginners that, well, it's not just for beginners. It's for anybody. And uh, this is for those uh, people that say, oh, I just don't have time. I just don't have time. Oh, it's just uh, my husband just drives me crazy. I have to go pick up the laundry and the kids, and I have to go to soccer practice, and I have to talk to Alice and go to the yard sale. Well, I've developed a little bit of a a practice session. You know, ball players practice, and musicians practice, and artists practice. I'm I'm talking about dancers and and actors and. They all practice, but I don't see painters practice. So I'm going to give you a little drill here that you can take 15 minutes, 20 minutes in the morning. It's called a 20-minute drill. And it was developed uh, by uh, my students down in Greensboro that uh, didn't have all the time they, they thought they needed. So we developed this little drill. And believe me, it's uh, worked wonders. So I'm going to take a little time today to show it to you. And uh, this will probably be the only place you can get it, unless you attend one of my workshops. But believe me, this will help you master these tools. W without knowing what your tools can do, without being able to understand what the water and the tools and the paper can do, you can forget watercolor and go back to baking uh, chocolate chip cookies. And But you're still going to have to learn how to put the dial on and how much heat and the dough and all that kind of thing, right? So you might as well stick to this. So in the morning, and you start this off Monday morning, you get hubby out, get him on the golf course, get get rid of him or get him to work, pack his lunch, or teach him how to use the microwave. And just put the instructions. Look in the cupboard and, you know, za, 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 za. Now, you know that Mildred's coming to pick you up, and she's coming at 11 o'clock, and you're going to the yard sales. Mildred goes to the late yard sales. Why, I have no idea. But that's, you, you, that's where you're going. But for you to enhance your art, if you want your art to become better, quicker, then you've got to know more about your tools, the water, and what they can do. You understand what I just said? You've got to know more about your tools, your pigment, and the water, and the paper. You've got to know what they can do. If you don't, how on earth are you going to become a watercolorist? See? Nobody ever told me this. So uh, I'm going to have you take one, just one little uh, mound of uh, any color paint. This happens to be manganese blue. And I want you to get a cup, a throwaway cup, a little paper cup like this, put some water in it. And then each day, now you do this three days a week, 15 to 20 minutes a day. And believe me, it'll get at you, and you're going to go to 25 minutes, and then you're going to do it at night. See? You'll even sneak out of bed and tell your husband you're going downstairs, and you'll be doing this. It's because this is what's going to move your, your art career right here. You can go to all the instructors you want. You can go to all the beautiful museums you want. But unless you know how to move this, and, and how this works, how your paint works, how your water works, you can forget it. So we've developed this little drill. Each day you take a different brush. You understand? Different brush. I happen to be using a muslin, uh, muslin two-inch uh, muslin. It's a wash brush, a great brush. And I've uh, uh, put a little water on it, and I'm just going to, that's all, right? Both sides. See that? Don't put it on one side. Put it on both sides. And then you get yourself and you do this. 
boring, isn't it? But if you're just beginning to do this stuff, you're going to notice, number one, how far the paint and the water will go, and what happens to the texture as the water leaves the brush. I can't teach you that. Nobody can. You're the one that's got to learn that. And then you pick up a little bit more, and you try the edge of the brush. You see, this brush has five edges to it. That's right, five. Look at that. And if you can do this, you may not think it's anything. But what you've done is you've done these things controlling this brush. You got it? Okay? All right. Now, let's get one more brush. Let's get around. And they're going to be in my book that will be available um, at all newsstands and bookstores and railroad tra uh, train stations. Get a little water. I'm going to use a number, it's a number six, lovely brush. And you're going to go like this. Or you're going to go like this. That's all I want you to do. This is called a 20 minute drill. Then pretty soon, you're going to get pretty good at this, see? You're going to get to a point where, hey, and then you cut them out and you send them to Mary at college and you say, look what I did today. And you put a stamp on the other side, mail it off to them. And then she gets it, puts it on the refrigerator. Uh, or she's so embarrassed she puts it in the refrigerator. Whichever, who cares. Now, let's get another, we'll, we'll, we'll pick up another brush here. Yeah, let's pick up a rigger. This is a little rigger, makes fi the fine line. And you gotta have, you gotta be able to make fine lines. So you make these, these uh, uh, trees. You little saplings, okay? Like that? Think you can do that? Sure you can. Or you can make long lines like that. Clapboards on a house, right? Or you can learn how to spatter, okay? A little bit more water. That's coffee. We don't want that. Okay. Okay. So, what I'm trying to say to you is the more you do this, because that's all we make when we paint. We make marks. You got it? We make marks. You can make even little windows. Could be a front door. Let's put a there you go, you got a front door. See? All right. Now the reason that I'm bringing this up is as you progress in this 20 minute drill, you know, you can hear Mary outside. She's blowing the horn. She's, you know, she's getting all excited. She's ready to go to the, uh, ready to go to the yard sale. Don't pay any attention to her. Just uh, go on with your 20-minute uh, drill. Then I want you to do this. After a while, you're going to get tired of doing that. So you do this. 
make a little grove of trees. That's right, a little grove of trees. Hardwood trees. You can call them walnut trees, you can call them anything. You know, husband comes home and says, what have you been doing here? Those are walnut trees. Oh, what's he know? He don't know anything. Leave him alone. Just tell him the walnut trees. And put the trunks on them. See? Look at that. Now, shadow underneath them. Okay? Got a little grove of trees there, haven't you? See how easy? But you can't do it unless you can control the brush. And the good thing about the 20 minute drill is simply this. Now Mary's out there. Is it Mary or Helen that's coming to get you? I can't remember who. I know you go to shopping with a lot of women, but. Okay. Now the horn's blowing. Wash the brush out in this. This you throw away. This you throw out. Off you go to see Mary. No big deal about it. Do you understand? No big deal about it. While that paper costs six dollars, yeah, and you're going to go out and spend six hundred at the yard sale. But I'll tell you what you can do. See, you can paint on both sides of this paper. And then when you get four or five of these things that are full, you put them in the washing machine. Don't laugh at me, sweetheart. You put them in the washing machine in cold water. Let them sit there for about four or five minutes, good and soaked. Then turn the agitator on. Boom, 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 six times. Longer than that, you're going to have a lot of pieces of paper. Just five or six times so it loosens the paint from the paper. Hang them up on a clothesline just like you would. They'll all fall to one end, all that water go to one end, they dry. You'll have a toned sheet of paper, and off you go. Okay? Fair enough. Any questions? Yes? Yes, you use the, the, the end of the brush with the hair on it. That's, that's the part you use, yeah. You can use the other part if you want. And you, you probably, you know, become a good calligrapher. Okay? All right. Any other questions? The bathroom, right behind you to the right. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a pleasure, and I hope you use it. If you have any questions, just call us. You'll see my website, my phone number on the uh, uh, credit right after this, and uh, I'll be glad to uh, be glad to help you through this. Okay. Thanks a lot. I appreciate being here more than you know. Thank you. <laughs>